is in search of the immortal wizard. The final mission we have to do before we unlock the ability to respec. So, going on over here, first thing I would suggest doing is pulling out Lube. Like I said, we're working towards the set. We're gonna pull him out. Uh, and I'm actually going to send Ong Jing away for now. I would rather, um, or nothing against her, I love the waifus, but I would rather have Zhao Yun with me because I'm working towards getting his set as well. And even though we're gonna be respecking, you'll understand why it's gonna be useful to have both of their sets on hand in a little bit. To fight alongside such a fine warrior. Uh, so from here, right over here, hmm. stop our way through that, and we're just going to pick up a decorative knot, which we probably don't need, but you know it's there. Um, and there is a, another thing over here you can break through. There are going to be a bunch of tigers. I wouldn't suggest doing that for now. They're going to be a much higher morale, so for the time being, just head on through the river and beat up the mermaids. Ooh, a little bit late on my, uh, on my movement there. Out over, uh, we can fight her, but keep in mind that when I mentioned it, it is that tiger. Man, you are just bullying me with that, aren't you? Oh, stop it. Ah, you're being beat up by that wolf. But yeah, the tigers are both over there. I said just ignore them for now. Go this way, we're gonna have a big porcupine come out. It's gonna do a one two, so one, and it's gonna do it again. Ah, oh, man. I even knew it was coming and I whiffed it. Anyway, kill that. Go ahead and pick up that battle flag. And hop on into here. We'll get some dragon cure powder. Now, I'm not going to use this all that much, uh, but this is one of the few things that I'll actually put on my usable items bar. Uh, this is a, a HP over time, and it's very strong. Very, very good. Um, other stuff, I mean, there's there's tons of stuff here. You know, talismanic water and, and genuine key and detox, stuff to cure statuses. Most of the time, I'm not, I'm not using that stuff. I just don't think it's really needed. Uh, you could use elixirs if you're really trying to get spicy, but, you know, I just don't think it's needed most of the time. Uh, anyway, we pick that up though. Continue along. There's gonna be a couple more spiky boys. Honk. And then up ahead, you can see we have Monkey Man up top. Once you can lock on, go ahead and call on out our companions. Have them get in there. Man, that 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 he got that was mean. Almost feel bad for what just happened there. Go ahead and pop this open heavy cavalry spear. That's nice. Uh, now you can notice a bridge there. Ignore the bridge. We'll grab this though. Ignore the bridge. And instead we're going to go over this way. And you'll notice some more spiky boys. We have one over here that you can't quite get to yet. And we have one over here. But... He's gone. I am the parry god. Yes, deflect god, actually. Go ahead and grab that mark and flag. All right, after that mark and flag, we're going to make our way on up. And then instead of crossing the bridge, we're going to drop down here. Now, you don't have to, but this is going to bring you to some wolves that will otherwise try to get in your way later, so you might as well just smack them. Stop that! You know, if they weren't so ravenous with the bites, I'd probably just ignore them, but they can't help themselves. Go ahead and grab this. Now there is a, obviously a shiny right there. Ignore that for now, it's actually an ambush. You can see there's a tiger waiting to jump on you. So instead of doing that, get this, get that. And then instead of going up, I want y'all to take this right path here. And right around the corner, get ready for another enemy trying to get you. Throw this back at it. And we'll take it out. And plant that marking flag. Like that. Grab that. 
and now we're gonna head on out now as we go up there is a tiger that's right up there um, with a little bit of luck you can actually hop up and get a critical oh i whiffed it oh well sometimes that happens so let's drop on down if you don't get the critical it's gonna be way way easier to fight this enemy down below and invoke your divine beast we're gonna let that do a lot of the damage here as you can see we're, we're also fighting a bunch of the porcupines at the same time so we're gonna pull out that divine beast we're also gonna empower our allies here let them get on in there and do a big chunk of the damage Tiger got deflected into next week and then hit with the juiciest spirit attack. Go on and raise that battle flag, though. And then there's a little piece of candy over here we can get. Alright, on bridge, go to the right for the wolves. Cross river, hard right for marking two. Do, 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 do. Jump up the flag and tiger. Use the divine beast. Drop down to the right for two tigers, marking three. So now we'll go for our other Tigers, and we should be a little bit better off fighting them now, now that we are up at 7 and they are 10. Uh, not quite as heavy of a lift as it was previously. Right, you gotta stop that. Kind of like how those hang around for just a second and get ready to blow up. Keep in mind, that's that other flag over there if you need a, a full rest. Otherwise, come here. This one is much easier to get the credit card. Well, while they are busy fighting him, go ahead and break this open and come over here to grab that. Should have been down by now. There we go, Li Bei is up to oath level 9, he's almost there. Go ahead and grab that. It's us most of the way there. Alright, and now we need to go back on over this way. Continue. So if you need, this is a good time to actually rest and go ahead and, and spend your stuff. Let's see, all the, the enemies that we cleared right here aren't going to respawn since they were attached to that battle flag, so you don't got to worry about that. And of course, can't forget about this little guy on the way out. Alright, so heading on over this way. Just gonna come up behind him. Oh man, he ruined it. The wolf ruined it. That's okay. I can make it happen anyway. Grab that, grab that. One flag here and one inside. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so this next part has a ton of mermaids. Now, we've already kind of talked about just how powerful Earth is for the mermaids. So if you want, you can just run up, and if that, they hit that, they're basically dead. And this is why I have largely had y'all uh, focus Earth up until now, is you're going to be able to cruise through this. And not just this, but the uh, the main boss of this area is actually going to be an Earth boss. Excuse me, a uh, water boss. So, Earth counter is water in this game. So, just having y'all cruise through this boss, which is the boss that gates the ability to respec, figured having the counter element from the start would be a safe bet. Get that shiny over there by hopping up here, hopping up here, and then hopping across. 
So we're heading on over this way. We have a couple more of the battle flag here. Very, very short mission, but that's okay, because we're going to be spending a lot of time at the hub after this. We're going to drop down and get this morale flag. that. And get that. And we're going to come on up into a rather open room. Now, you'll notice that there is a shiny right there, and then a crystal kind of sticking out of the ground. That is a trap meant to bait you on in. It's actually a crocodile that's waiting to jump out and attack. So instead, walk up. And you're ready to fight. Um, we're going to be using our stones here to get the flex off and then cast the stone. This enemy can absolutely kill you very fast. Very, very fast. The crocodile is not to be underestimated. Especially once it starts doing this. The, the dive underground, come back up, dive underground, come back up. It is a very deadly attack. And you can see just how much damage it does. If it gets a clean window to hit you, it can absolutely kill you. It's, it's even, just, even it just turning like that. Even, literally, it just turned to, like, look at me. And I almost died. So, be very careful with the alligator. Or the crocodile, excuse me. Or maybe it is, I don't know if it was an alligator. Let's see. Let's actually find out. Is it an alligator, or is it a crocodile? Documents. Human bestiary. It is a... Large crocodile. Either way, get the flag. piece of equipment I suggest you try it okay, and I think we are good loot wise just gonna run through grabbing any goodies left Nothing there okay we are good so um, what I want y'all to do from this area we're gonna go over here first run across grab the cicada shell no fell down uh, start of my path already so perilous Jump across. So maybe some steel. Um, pull back over here to where the flag was. Go up. Over here. Let me get the despairing Taoist note. Genuine key clot. And jump across. And jump across again. Now this jumps a little bit hard. But you can make it. And if you can't, it's okay. It just comes around over here. Right down here. This this is uh just literally run up this, and then you can make a left instead of fighting that guy. And it'll take you to the same spot. Cross. Cross. Yeah, up we go. And get the final marking flag for this zone. No, I fell down. We'll get that in a second. Uh, so from here, it is on to the boss. So if you need to heal at all, if you need to spend genuine chi at all, uh, now is the time to do so. So the boss for this area is Aoi. It's like a squid ox. Uh, it's water, though. So that means that Earth is the counter element. And if you were following along one-to-one -one with this guide, of course, you were going to have a brutal Earth build that's about to tear it up. This is the Taoist key. Well, the first of many keys. There's more. But we'll get to those later. A um, couple things to look out for. Uh, you can summon your Divine Beast to do some massive damage here. This thing changes up, though, about 50%. So I would suggest waiting until you get through about a quarter of its health before you pull out the Divine Beast. Uh, besides that, it has a thrust critical attack that I personally struggle with. I, I have better luck dodging or deflecting backwards than deflecting into it. And then it's going to use its tentacles to do like a 1-2 stab critical. Um, in its second phase, it will draw from its water element more, and it will potentially inflict you with chill, which will slow you down. But honestly, as long as you're able to use your, your slabs and your divine beast here, you should be able to mess this thing up.
So early on, I'm just going to hit it with that rock, and I'm going to try and basically get... Trying to get Earth Element to fly to it. And once I can, I'm going to empower the gang, let them get in and do some damage. And every chance I get, going from that Earth Element, and you can see just how much damage that Earth Element is doing to it. There we go. About halfway. We're going to summon from the Divine Beast. Massive damage going out. We got it stunned. Going for the critical. Boom. Let's hit it with the Deathly Bog. And one last bit of Earth. Probably one more Earth finisher. Actually, Xiao Yun, take the honors. There it is. Easy kill on AoE. You can see, even without an Earth build here, uh, the Divine Beast being Earth-focused is going to do so much damage. It, it just, you know, the multiple rocks, and especially the size of this thing, you're able to just annihilate it, like you saw right there. Just big, big damage going out. And of course, that gives us another Divine Beast, and now we have access to the respec function. I see. That explains. So a bunch of movies you're going to sit through. I um, think we obviously, can I'll cook. let you do all of that on your own time. Instead, we're going to be talking about the respec and the battle set function, in addition to continuing our tour of the hub. So, with where we are at, a couple other things that I want to talk to about the hub. So, over here... This is the lady that's missing the key. Go ahead and Where talk to her. Where am I going? If it's only a I run through her dialogue a bit. It's only a hey, that thank you. So now that you've given her the key, we are allowed to open it. And of course, you get inside, get a piece of loot, and you'll notice this is also locked. And she's going to talk about how she doesn't have the other key. So anyway, that other key comes up much later, uh, but that'll get us into the backyard and get us some nice loot. So that is that for now. Uh, besides that, you can, I mean, feel free to walk around and talk to, to all the NPCs, you know. Honestly, I'm a, I really like the hub here. In particular, it's just, it's nice. It's very peaceful. Like, no lie, you could straight up listen to this hub music to fall asleep to. I really like the hub. Uh, but on over here... Got a golden cicada shell, and can you guess what's at the top of this? That's the cicada man. Sick. Sick. So go ahead and talk to him. If you played you after the Neo, you may be like familiar the with the uh, oh, truth, eh? the poop man. This is kind of like this game's poop man. For those confused, in Neo 2, there was a guy that wanted to eat poop balls. And so uh, this is kind of this game's version of that. But either way, give him all the cicada shells you have found so far. <laughs> He's going to give you rewards as you continue to give him, and eventually you're going to get a trophy for giving him cicada shells. So, Moving on from him, though, uh, the other NPCs here, it's mostly just, just dialogue, just people you can talk to, learn about the town, hear about Ong Jing and uh, Josie and the people that are here. Um, before we go over to you, there is one area over here. So throughout your journey, as you recruit people and you find shiatsus and whatnot, they are going to end up over here. So it's just like your cute demon panda garden. Uh, on top of that, stuff like Lubei, Sao Sao, Sunjian, they'll all be over here as well. So you can come on over here and talk to them to get more dialogue and more story. I believe there's actually something up here. Let's run up and check real fast. It only takes half a second. Nope, there's not. But it's definitely a really nice area to get a, a view of everything, get screenshots, you know, stuff like that. So from here, let's head back on over and get into the meat and potatoes of the hub, and that is respecking. And before we do, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to uh, level up. And with where my build is currently at, one of the first things I'm going to do here is let me get rid of this this tab. Oh, I forgot about doing that. Forgot about Shadow of the Sacred Mountain. Hmm. Well, we can we can possibly jump into that. But first, we're going to talk about respecking. 
Um, so we're gonna go battle preparation here. We go battle set. Right here, current configuration, confirm, save. That's gonna save my exact setup as I have it right now. Now the bigger thing is now that we have rescued the sage, we are able to come here and do a couple things. And this is honestly pretty, pretty game changing for a Souls game in general. Uh, so first off, we can freely respec at any time. So if you don't want to play Earth anymore, you just got past the Earth guy, drop it on down, boom. Just like that, you're now water build all of a sudden. It's that easy. And you can do this an infinite amount of times. It's not going to cost you anything. Super, super useful. And not only that, but you can respec, save it as a second battle set, and then switch between different builds in the middle of missions. So just to... to to really kind of talk about that a little bit here. So I want, uh, I believe it's seven? Or is it, no, it's eight for my one ability that I like. Let's say I wanted to start leaning into water, but still want to keep a little bit of earth. So now we have a, a more water variant Don't version of the build. The I could go here, go here. I could put on uh, different armor and whatnot. We'll say for the, the water variant of the build, I'm gonna use the, the pulled spear and then Scimitars, for example. Go to rest. Battle prep, battle set, and the same thing over here. Save. And anytime you're going to overwrite, make sure you 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 hit triangle so you can see what you have, see your current configuration before you save it. But I can see that I have two specs right now, right? So if I just select this and hit apply, then I back out. I have my weapon back on. I have my earth virtue back. And like I said, I can do this in the middle of a mission. And so... If you really wanted to, you could have five separate builds that you go in, one for each of the elements that you're going into every mission with. And when you get to a boss, turns out that boss is fire, go to your water build. Turns out the boss is water, go to your earth. If it's earth, go to wood. And if it's wood, go to metal. And basically, you have a setup for whatever you're going to fight at any given time. Something very, very nice wonder. quality of life. Besides that, accolades. Uh, accolades we just get from from you know killing enemies that have killed other players. You can buy stuff with it, stuff like poison throwing knives or fire pots. Uh, I like to go the gold box of armor. You know, maybe I get lucky and obtain a four star weapon that I want. So it's, um, we're gonna be having dual swords in a little bit here. I could go. Uh, let's, let's do dual sabers just to the roll. Hey, not too bad, not too bad. Mounted Bandit Sabers. Let's take a look at the uh, the moves. Okay, a little Skyward, I like that. I'm not a big fan of Plumbren though. Plumbren's the defensive one when you flip back. But I might still mess around with those. That's that's nice. Copper Obtention, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, but you know, whatever, four star, looks nice. You'll be back. Yes, I will, Something don't you worry. Of course, the last thing is character creation. If for some reason you're not happy with your character, you want to take some time and customize them, uh, you can do that really easy. You can just, you know, randomize it up a couple times, you know, make different looks, go find find something that works for you that, that you like and just go from there. But I mean, Don't especially because we didn't we didn't do anything with our character at the start, we jumped right in. So I might actually take the time to, uh, to customize my dude out and set him up. Now, before we wrap up, I actually owe y'all a submission, the Shadow of the Sacred Mountain, which is right here. Now, I had originally done this, but I forgot something in the mission, so I decided it would be worthwhile to edit the video and go back and make that addition, which is exactly what we're doing right now. Um, on the note of additions, I've actually already recorded the following episode of the walkthrough, episode 8. In that episode, we're going to be talking about build crafting, and as part of that, after this episode, I want you to go ahead and finish getting a reinforcement up to Sworn Brother status. So Lu Bei should be really close if you were doing him. Um, Zhao Yun could also be really close depending on you know who you put your cup of cordialities into. Whatever the case is, you want to get one up to level 10. They will become Sworn Brother. And then on top of that, they're going to gift you their weapons, their armor. And in the case of someone like Lu Bei, you'll also be given his talisman. Uh, but also, over here, Dragon Cure Powder. Go ahead and pick that up. This is a great level to just get tons and tons of Dragon Cure Powder on. You can just keep traveling here. It'll always respawn. So if you're trying to get some, this is a, a good way. And earlier in this episode when we cleared this zone, I also forgot a piece of loot that would have been right up here. It, it's definitely a little bit... It's very easy to miss because it's you know, up so high. But just right up here, there should be a piece of armor that you can grab. So 
Don't forget to grab that. Obviously, not a key item, but wanted to point it out regardless. But for now, at least just run on through here. We're gonna take out that wolf. And then we have a greater mermaid over here. If we can get a critical, great. If we can't, it's really not gonna matter because we have earth and earth magic. We will absolutely terrorize the mermaids. Blow up that mermaid. We have another mermaid over here we're gonna kill. There we go. Over here we have a couple of the porcupines. Let's go ahead and just take them out. Grab the loot for garden. Baragol. Honestly, we just ignore these things. So you're not really getting much just picking up Baragol. But uh, run on over here. We're gonna have our first marking flag for this level. Actually, we'll go over here and kill this guy first. He is guarding a chest. This should have an elixir in it. And go up this way. And kill the spiders, or just ignore them. To be honest, they're not really much of a threat. So I usually just run by these. The marking flag. Head on over this way. Over here we have a tiger we need to kill, but before that, I'm gonna go kill a different tiger. Let's see this one also guarding a chest able to get it and then we'll do some earth magic to soften it up some. Go ahead and open that. And we're gonna try and get up behind this one. This. Let's see if I can't spirit attack it down before it starts reacting. There we go, nice and clean. So taking him out, we'll unlock this battle flag. Go ahead and grab that. If you need to, you can spend your genuine chi. A couple spiders up in the trees, don't worry about them for now. Uh, this is the Shiatsu. Let's see if we have anything that is a high enough rarity. Perfect. Go ahead and drop a yellow if you have it, otherwise purple. Let's see if we can't get a good accessory out of this little guy here. Beautiful. Fish is uh, So you can kill the spiders if you want. Like I said before, I generally tend to ignore them. We'll grab the chest they're guarding. And over here we have the other marking flag for the level. As we move on out, we have the monkey man. Go ahead and get a critical on him. I pretty much just take them out. Kill this thing since it insists on following me. Uh, then right over here we have a large porcupine that we're going to punch. that little goody there and that is going to be about it so you can get this uh, but do not go through the bamboo over there that's going to trigger the boss before we go ahead and do that we are going to head on over to the battle flag now like i said i think this is a really good mission for leveling up followers because we're fighting you know we have a monkey we have uh two of the tigers we have the greater mermaid and we have the big porcupine so you're killing lots of of uh elite enemies if you will so you're going to get pretty good progress on on uh, lube or whoever your follower is going through here um, and then of course we have the bird as a boss but pretty pretty easy mission you know pretty light lift i think and definitely one where you can just kind of you can see fully this boss take him out very very easily burn through this and just get that uh 
keep ramping up that familiarity with Lube or whoever you chose. Um, so in the next episode, we're going to be focused on showing how to actually set up a build. So we're going to be starting that episode from the perspective of having a fresh set of armor and weapon. And we're going to be talking about respecting our character and kind of molding that to fit our needs. Which after that, y'all are going to be really, really moving. So either way, thanks for tuning in. And I'll catch you next time as we continue.